For more than a decade, the CDC has aggressively used a campaign to inspire smokers to quit. So you may have seen it. It's called the Tips from Former Smokers campaign, and CDC researchers say the ads are working. Its research is actually showing at least a million people quit smoking, and more than 16 million are making an attempt to quit smoking. Well, this year you'll see something a little new, and that is the ads that are targeting menthol cigarettes. Our Sally Hernandez explains. I started smoking menthol cigarettes at age 15. As a gay teen trying to figure out who I was, I hid behind cigarettes. And then when I figured out who I was, I was so addicted to nicotine that it was hard for me to quit. And Angie, you are one of the success stories featured in the CDC ad. Tell me a little bit about your personal journey. I've been singing since I was three. I sang in um, gospel choirs and rhythm and blues bands and even had a short stint in uh, Vegas. And um, I really, um, it just took some, It I adored singing mm -hmm. and cigarette smoking, um, excuse me. It's okay, take your time. Cigarette smoking took that away from me. I started at such a young age and uh, by the time things begin to catch up with me, um, yeah, it's just just a good idea to stop. It's gonna it's gonna get you, you know. Period. And tell me a little bit about that, doctor, about why it's it's different and why you're making sure that these are new tips that specifically mention menthol cigarettes. Yeah, we know about thirty five percent of all cigarettes uh, sold in this country are menthol cigarettes. Menthol is an ingredient that has cooling and numbing properties, so it makes it easier to start smoking and more difficult to quit. We also know that the tobacco industry targets specific groups, like you said, Black Americans, LGBTQI plus uh, community members, and others, and those groups disproportionately use menthol cigarettes. So what we want to know and what Angie's ad shares is that even if you smoke menthol cigarettes, you can quit. My tip is love yourself and get the help you need to quit smoking. Angie, do you have any plans to sing again now that you've quit smoking? I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on it. Thank you so much, both of you, for talking to us.